Go put them together for Limbered Opic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, Lembit, of course, was a high-flying Lib Dem MP, never afraid to step into the thick of it, who had not one but two high-profile celebrity romances, and unusually for a Lib Dem, both with women. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> despite his profile... Oh, despite his profile, talent so. and charm... <laughs> profile, talent and charm, Lembit lost his seat on the 5th of May after 13 years in office. And I'm baffled, quite frankly. Uh, you were not on my list of MPs I wanted to see fall from grace. In fact, far from it. So, how did it happen? Well, I wasn't on my list of MPs <laughs> fall from grace. Otherwise, <laughs> I, I'd like to say I meant to do it, but I don't know, really. Um, my vote went down a little bit, but I would have won any of the last nine general elections in my seat with what I got. But the Tory vote just rocketed up and... Uh, that's why I find myself here. And this is much better than being an MP, being on your show. Well, that, that's nice to say, but do you want to Thank go... Thank you. There you are. Stop. Yeah. Honestly, don't believe anything. <laughs> do you want to go back into politics? Sort of, yeah. I've heard sort talk of, of uh, London Mayor. Mayor of London's possibility. Um, some of the people who were my enemies in the past are saying I could stand for that. Boris Johnson has paved the way for characterful campaigns. But I don't know yet, really, cos I'm trying various things. And... Various things. Mm. So we'll, we'll get on to the, the comedy in just a sec. Just, I, I'm, I have to ask you, I mean, what do you make of the coalition? If, if the papers are to be believed, there's a lot of Lib Dems out there that aren't happy. There's a rumbling because lots of Lib Dems are concerned we're too close to the Tories now. But actually, even though I lost to a Conservative, I think it's good for the country. I think that we should cut them some slack. Uh, as I say in, in, in one of my columns today... We're going to be, be showing the viewers um, that in a moment. They're um, just covering over the boobs. And um, we'll oh, have, right, have okay. a look at that. That sounds very <laughs> ambiguous, but it's not ambiguous. You'll see later. So I think it's good for the country, and I think Nick Clegg and uh, David Cameron, you know, they're doing a pretty good job. Mm. Tough times, but they're being honest with us. OK, it, so. now, um, you're going to get through the tough times with comedy, is this right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, people have been laughing at me for 13 years. I might as well get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> is Westminster... It must be a relatively good training, isn't it, for stand-up? It, it is, basically. I've worked out... I've done 880 after-dinner speeches, and uh, it's similar, uh, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. I have a residency now. I have a residency in the backstage comedy store in St Martin's Court. Ruthless self-promotion here. Why not? Well, yeah, you can, can do a bit more, because... Uh, for those of you not paying an exorbitant amount to uh, stand in a field, because uh, Emmett's <laughs> off to Glastonbury after the show, more on that in a sec, he has agreed to do a little spot for us right here, right now. I wow. have a microphone for you. I've only dropped it on him, literally this on him, just as the, the titles roll. And I know yours isn't a sort of gag, 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 it works with the audience, but Lembert Opic, take a stand over there and give us a twirl. Go on. Yeah. Brave man, Thank brave you. man. To the audience, please. I've <laughs> <laughs> frozen. <laughs> what do you want to hear? Um, actually, I will tell you one thing which happened to me about two weeks ago, which really happened to me. Uh, this lady came across the, the street. You can always tell if someone recognises you because they kind of stare at you I in this way, a bit the way that Matthew was doing to me just now. And, and she came across and I thought she was going to say, bad luck, you know, on losing. She actually said to me, my son and I just wanted to check, didn't you used to be Lembitopic? <laughs> Didn't you used to be Lembert? It was like the sixth sense kind of way, you know. I thought it was just my career which had died. Um, but I don't, I don't feel bad about it. That, that wasn't actually a joke. There we are. Well, thank you very much. Uh, evidently, good. You got it the second time. That's all right. <laughs> um, and, and I don't actually feel so bad about it. I see Nick Clegg in, in Parliament and uh, think to myself, every time I see my friends do well, something in me dies. This is nice. You all feel that way. You all feel that way. But uh, I saw Nick actually there and I said, well done, mate. Deputy Prime Minister, but he didn't spot me. It was a, quite a big lift, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, and also, the only other thing I'll tell you is, uh, as an Estonian, that's where my parents come from, uh, I could list you all the famous Estonian MP... Sorry, Estonian comedians, uh, but, uh, but there aren't any. Um, I one time saw an Estonian apparently laughing about a programme in Estonia, but it turned out... Well, the coroner, ba coroner basically returned a verdict of choking. Um, but, but apart from that, you know, I'm at your service. You come to Glastonbury tonight, and you'll see me at five o'clock. You've been a lovely audience. My name's Lemon Opic. At least I used to be. Thank you very much indeed. There we are. <laughs> 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 a very, very brave thing Somewhat to do. spontaneous. And, and, and slightly unfair of us to drop no, it on at the last minute. Well done, sir. Yeah. Now, will I make it as a comedian? Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Yeah.
My fee's just gone up, Matthew. Right, good. <laughs> and uh, just so sort of worth mentioning again, Glastonbury Festival, he's literally he's got his bedrolls around the back. <laughs> You're doing the whole camping thing and everything. I want to thank Rob Meekin. He's the guy who got me into this. He's the compare of the backstage comedy. So I, I said, I said, do you really want me to do this? He said, oh, come on, there won't be much publicity. And here <laughs> I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Just one word of advice, lay off the brown acid, Lemmit. OK. Lay Ooh, off yeah. the brown acid. What's now, the brown acid? It's, uh, it's, it's just what you just want to lay off it. Whatever <laughs> okay, happens, thanks, don't do it. No it's, brown acid, no. I'll make a note. Right, now